Um, hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jadelle aka Nelly. So today we're doing the video that I've been meaning to record for a while. The Instagram followers. You guys picked my makeup for the day. So I just wanted to do this. I always thought it was cute and I always thought it was fun to do when influencers or people on social media ask their followers to do their to pick their makeup for the day or whatever. And so I feel like I should do this once every few months because I think it was fun. I was like, oh my gosh, you guys tied in a couple of things. So yeah, we're gonna figure it out and see how I feel about it as we do my makeup. But first, we're gonna do my eyes first. So I put up either, if I should use either my ABH Brow Wiz pencil that I usually use or my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And you guys picked the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil, so that's what we do. That's what I'm gonna use to fill my eyebrows today. I personally usually use this brow pencil when my eyebrows are growing out, like they're out out, like they're they're completely over. You can't really do individual hairs, but with this, you kind of can. So I usually use this when my eyebrows are like all over the place because it fills them in pretty quickly and it's not too dark of a shade. So as you can see, I already made my eyebrow a little bit too fat. And that's how I usually um, start filling in my eyebrow. And I didn't apply that much pressure, as you can see. So I'm just gonna try to do a little bit better. Oh my goodness. This is why I never show you guys how I do my eyebrows on camera because I'm not really the best person to look at for filling in eyebrows. So like, as you can see right now, I wouldn't really use the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil because my eyebrows aren't completely grown out. Like usually when my eyebrows are completely grown out, it'll be a little bit more even. But even with the brow wiz, I don't really like brow wiz, so it's, it's okay. We'll do angry brows for now. We'll, we'll, we'll clean it up later. For primer, I put up the Cover FX Face Mattifying Primer with Salicylic Acid or the Milk Makeup, what's it called? The Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. And so what one was the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. So I don't remember if I like this primer or not. I meant to do a whole video on this but I generally forgot, like I just tried it on my own time. So we're gonna put this on as my primer for today. It feels very tacky. <laughs> I'm going to color correct my neck with the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Peach, in the Peach Corrector. Um, I'm still not even sure this is like the right corrector for me, but like just bear with me. This I didn't let you guys pick because I'm still figuring out like if this really works. Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. It doesn't really have like the long lastingness that I need it to have. So that's that's how that's how it's going for me. And so for foundation, I put up either the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation or the CoverGirl. What was it called? Okay, the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Main Foundation. And so because those are my two current foundations that I tend to switch with right recently. And so you guys tied. <laughs> On those two like I even texted my friends like please please stop this tie but you still ended up still being tied so we are going to mix the two foundations so we're gonna see how this works with the Anastasia foundation you don't have to set it but with this one I feel like you do have to set it so we're gonna see how that works today nice matte and a nice luminous and I don't really like to use I'll use up to two pumps with each so I'm kind of like we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna do like not even a whole pump on each side and just mix them both <laughs> the brush and just see how it goes two whole bump two whole punts for each foundation does the job for me so we're just gonna do two like not even a full pump for each brush and see how it goes You can feel the luminous foundation trying to take over. Like you can see the luminosity and also the matteness on me at the same time. So that's really interesting. We're gonna see how this goes. Okay, so next up is concealer. So I put up for the LA Girl Pro, Pro Concealer or the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and you guys picked the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I'm gonna do, this is the concealer that I've been using all the time lately because it's there and I, it does a pretty decent job until, it's not cry proof because I'm a senior and I'm part of like a lot of orgs and one of my one orgs we're doing a senior send off and my guy best friends actually a few of my friends like they're graduating and so like my one guy best friend and a few other friends they're graduating and they're and I made my, my speech really short and simple so I don't cry and then next thing you know 
everybody else is doing their speech and i'm like it's so true they do they really do do that and so i was <laughs> i was dead ass crying it just, it just came like i'm over here like oh my goodness my concealer you know at least we can see if it's like cry proof it is not so this is like a pretty decent concealer but it's not cry proof to grab the more like color corrector shade i usually use and just put that underneath the brow usually i use like for like the palette that i'm going to use today i will usually use an eyeshadow primer but i didn't feel like putting my eyeshadow on i did not feel like putting my eyeshadow primer today so we're just gonna rock with concealer today <laughs> So this is when get this is when things get a little tricky. Put up for under eye powder to use either translucent powder or yellow powder. And guess what, you guys? You tied again. So I'm kind of like maybe I should do one under eye with translucent powder, one under eye with yellow powder. See how that works. <laughs> um, my face right. So I'm, or should I just? I'm just gonna go with how my face feels. So this face feels wet. <laughs> so since the face feels wet, I'm gonna use my usual Dimmer Blend loose powder. This is like the best powder for you guys if you have oily skin, like OD oily skin. Like heavily, like your skin's like, I'm gonna produce oils all the time. No matter what's going on, I'm gonna produce oils in my sleep. I'm gonna produce oils when you're walking. I'm gonna produce oils while you're washing your face. You know, this is like the perfect powder for you. A little bit goes a long way. What I'm grabbing right now is obviously too much, but it's okay. So I like to preset my face. And then I like to put a little bit of bake underneath. If my face didn't really feel as luminous as it does, I would have put on the yellow powder, like switch it up on you guys. But like since it feels more luminous, I'm going to stick it with what I know works best for me. So I'm just going to try to fix my eyebrows a little bit better off camera you guys did not i did not put up like a brow gel for you guys to pick so i'm just gonna assume that you guys want me to use the benefit 24 hour brow gel setter i personally don't care for this like at all like it, it it doesn't really do what i need it to do like to stay in place and everything it kind of just makes them shinier <laughs> it doesn't really do anything for me honestly i like the abh clear brow gel that's the only clear brow gel like that's the only brow gel I like. Like I have the dip brow gel and everything and I generally don't care for it. I just like the ABH clear eyebrow gel. That's it. So you guys, I've asked you guys if you want to do the ABH X Jackie Ina palette or the Juvia's Place or the Juvia's Place Magic Mini palette and you guys picked the Juvia's Place Magic Mini's palette. And so I haven't really played with this palette. Like I really enjoy this palette. I do. It's just I haven't played with her as often. So we're gonna just fast forward through and I'm just gonna show you guys what shades I use and continue on with the video. Okay, so for face powder, I asked you guys if you want to do the Laura Mercier Medium Deep Powder or the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Loose Powder in the shade Nutmeg. You guys show us the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Loose Powder in the shade Nutmeg. Um, I haven't really used her in a while. I used her for my Too Faced foundation. You know, I have like... 
so the reason why I haven't used it. I have my Laura Mercier Medium Deep Powder for like years. When I say years, like I think I have it for like three years, so I'm trying to finish it. And so that's why I've been using it. I'm just gonna set my foundation with this. Usually I use a sponge, but I just feel like using a brush because I feel like I get more control with this foundation with this powder with a brush. So for my eye makeup look, I feel like if I actually use my eyeshadow primer, it would be a lot more, be a lot better in general. Like, it would be a lot cuter in general. So I'm gonna go back into the eyes now. before I go back to the eyes so I asked you guys if you wanted me to do use for contour the Fenty Beauty matchstick in espresso or the what's it called <laughs> the Mented X Ashley Blaine Featherson the girl from Dear White People on Netflix season two bronzer highlighter duo and you guys voted for the duo and I thoroughly enjoy I really enjoy this bronzer it's a good bronzer so far I'm not enjoying my eyeshadow it's kind of like ooh, I should have like put on like an actual eye primer but you know, to each to their own. This is a really good bronzer, you guys. I thoroughly enjoy this bronzer. I've been enjoying it a lot more lately. And I'm just very happy there's like brands who make bronzers for people of darker skin. I hope it, 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 could, it could still get darker, but it's getting there. It's getting there. We just need to get there quicker. And so I might as well use the highlight too because I didn't really ask for a highlight from you guys. So I'm just going to use that. It's like a nice little highlight. I thoroughly enjoy it. <laughs> blush, I asked you guys if you wanted me to use the Anastasia Belly Hills Peachy Blush Trio or the Juvia's Place Sahari and Bella. Saharian Blush Volume 2 palette and you guys asked for Juvia's Place Saharian Blush Volume 2 palette so we're going to use that today. I'm going to mix this light pink shade with this shade. I don't really use that shade a lot. I should. It's a good shade. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just I just, I just haven't been using it. I'm going to grab the, the, the lighter highlighter just a little bit and highlight with that also because why not and a good mixture of both yeah and so for setting spray i asked you guys to pick between the mac fix plus setting spray and the urban decay d look setting spray and it was tied so we are going to use both setting sprays today i usually use a setting spray while i do my shimmers i'm surprised i didn't use it for my shimmers today but it's okay so we're just gonna do like a with MAC and then let's with Urban Decay and see how that goes. Okay, I didn't ask you what I didn't ask you guys what lashes to use, but I figured it out. And so for lips, I asked you guys if I should do a matte lip or a glossy lip. And you guys voted for glossy and I asked you want me to do a bright color or a nude. And you guys asked, told me to do a nude. So I'm going to go figure out a nude real quick and do that. the final look you guys isn't it it's not 
bad. I'm I'm not upset at it. The lashes was hard to look for because of the fact that I didn't really find any lashes to work with. And as you can see, when I tell you when I color correct this neck, this doesn't do what I need to do. Doesn't need what I need to do. So um, I hope you guys follow me on Instagram. The Instagram that I used for this was my makeup Instagram because I really want to really bother like my personal friends who are really into makeup about it. So like all my friends who do like makeup, they follow me on my makeup Instagram and you guys. So let's just Nelly makeup on Instagram. So I will be doing this again. I just don't know when. I think this is like a good video for me to do when I really don't know what to do. And I'm just like, hey, you guys are gonna just pick up my makeup and I give you guys options. You know, this is fun cute little combination of everything my eyebrows did not come out well they're not bad bad <laughs> my eyebrows are okay I use ooh, for lips I use the ColourPop lip liner in the shade pitch which is discontinued and I also use the Urban Decay lip liner in the shade Nighthawk and I use the MAC X Patrick Star lipstick in Mama Star and then I just put the Fenty Beauty Diamond Gloss Balm in Confetti on top because I just want to use Confetti for some reason. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And for lashes, I'm using the, what is this, House of Lashes Bador Light Collection. So yeah, there you go. Um, you guys pretty much know anything else I use because I announced it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in my next video. And I hope you guys have a nice and lovely day wherever you are. And I will see you next time.